All right, guys, this is just a quick vid. I want to talk to you about uh, a couple things I have in the works. I was talking to Eric earlier today. Eric has a YouTube channel called Loom Shot. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And we're going to do a collaboration build, um, aka basically I'm going to supply all the parts and he's going to build the watch. He's uh, much more talented at building the watches than I am. And he has some really good in-depth videos on it. So check out his channel. If you're into modding, you probably are already aware of his channel. If you're not, definitely go check it out. Um, so he is going to do the build on the Ninja Turtle. And I know this is going to be a hate it or love it sort of thing with people because, you know, this is a very cool turtle. And you guys know I'm running through turtles like no problem. And I, I do agree this is a really cool watch. But... I can't help myself. It's going to get built into the SKX style case. It's going to be this matte black one. I'm just sourcing some more parts and then I'm going to send everything over to uh, LoomShot and the build will commence. So basically it's going to be, uh, I think I'm going to do a 12 hour stealth bezel from the uh, I think I'm going to do, it's going to be a hodgepodge of parts. This is a 444 case. Um, and then, like I said, the Namoki's bezel insert. I haven't decided on a bezel yet. It might be, it might be a Crystal Times. I'm not sure yet, but it needs to be a matte black, or I might even do another Cerakoted SKX one. Um, I kind of would rather go aftermarket. We'll see. And then the chapter ring will probably be from I think DLW. They have a black one that's indexed, and then on the uh, fives. Uh, marks there's they're orange so it'll match that minute hand which i think will be really cool so that build's gonna happen eric's gonna build it and then uh, i will sell it um price wise on that watch it's easily gonna be in the 1300 dollars range it's it's gonna be the the new most expensive build it just is what it is um this build actually has been really well received i appreciate you guys all the uh positive remarks on it and uh I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, well, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to sell it eventually, but for now I'm wearing it. Um, I still have the Sun Monster video to do. That'll happen soon. Um, I have another, I actually am wearing it, another Pro Trek video that I'm going to do. Uh, this Titanium Seiko video I need to do. I'm um, just kind of giving you a brief overview because the video is so short. But this Armida just showed up. This is a pretty cool watch. Um, crazy cheap. Um very inexpensive and very nice so i'll do a full video on that soon i have another really wild uh micro brand i, I keep i see the name and i keep thinking baltimore but it's uh Val, valimore valimore this thing is insane um it's got a lot going on so i'm excited to do the video on this as well actually this was loaned in by a viewer and then i i have stuff coming in as well so um Oh, shoot, you know, I still haven't even done the um, the MRG video. This is one that I, I gotta, I've been wearing it, I've been giving it a ton of time, and I still, I'm not sure how to do the video. Uh, I, at one point, I'm just going to sit down and do it, but uh, it is a crazy cool watch. But in no way is it justified to the majority of the watch-going crowds out there, the price, I mean. Um... I think it's worth it, and I think there's a ton of other people that do. I know there's a ton of other people do because they only make a certain amount of these every year, and it's not very many. I want to say, uh, I can't find the hardcore info, but I want to say it's around 300 maybe made each year, something like that, and uh, they sell out instantly. So they're they're in low uh, supply. Um, same thing with this guy. I really cannot find any information on how many of these were made. There was two different part numbers. There was um, like a non-US release that had one part number, and then there was this one, which is the SRPC49. Um, I'm not sure how many they made of each one, so if you guys know, let me know. So anyway, that's just me checking in, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for sure, maybe, hopefully.